Hi, my name is Eleanor Lindprecht. Thank you to the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts and the Thomas Keneally Library for this um, video project. Um, I became a writer, um, probably I began writing around 2005, 2006. My first novel was never published. Um, I worked on it for several years and it is still in a drawer. Um, I also then did a master's at UTS of writing and that was part of writing that novel. After writing that um, I began What Was Left which was my first novel which was published. It was published in 2013 by Sleepers Publishing in Melbourne and it's this book here. It's the story about a mother who leaves her baby. My second novel came out in 2015 also with Sleepers Publishing. It's a historical novel it's called Long Bay and it's about a woman who is an abortionist and ended up in Long Bay prison. It's based on a true story and it's set around 1909 in Sydney. After these two books my publisher Sleepers Publishing in Melbourne um, which is an independent small publisher closed and I'd begun working on another novel which is called The Passengers and this um, is my latest novel which has just come out this month with Alan and Unwin. It's the story of a war bride from Australia who moves to the United States um, after marrying an American GI during World War II and she goes over on one of the bride ships um, that took these war brides over to the, to the US and when I started researching it I didn't realize that there were um, more than 15 or around 15,000 Australian women who married American soldiers and moved to the United States just during World War II alone so I thought it was a fascinating story and I did more research and I met with some war brides over in the United States and um, I was really interested, I think part of the thing that interested me in um, the story for the passengers is that these women gave up so much of their their family, their lives, their you know their culture, everything that they were used to just to, for love and to move to this completely different place. Um, and I, I identified with it a little bit because I moved to Australia in 2002 myself when I fell in love with an Australian so I think I understood their stories and wanted to research it further um, and felt a sort of empathy with them and that's where this novel came from. The Passengers has both a contemporary and a historical thread in it so I took a little bit of what I learned in What Was Left and a little bit of what I learned in Long Bay and um, wrote my third novel here. Um, I have if I was to have advice for um, emerging writers or aspiring writers, someone who wants to write a novel, it would be first of all to read a lot. Um, I think reading is the most important thing and to read widely and um, decide what books you love and why you love them. That's all, always really important. Um, I'm a huge reader myself and I'm constantly reading all kinds of things and I love to read for research as well as for pleasure. Um, probably my second piece of advice besides reading is um, to prepare yourself um, for rejection. It's not going to be easy and um, it's often that you know you might be rejected a lot of times before somebody likes your work but you have to keep trying. If you gave up the first time you were rejected um, because you you know felt devastated by it then it wouldn't be um, then you obviously don't want it enough is what I'm saying you have to every writer deals with a lot of rejection in their lives and part of what we do is learn from it and and keep going um, the third thing I'd say is is to take on the feedback from other people especially from people you trust about your writing and to to get feedback whether it's from writers groups or from a mentor or something like that and to take on what they say um, but perhaps always keep your own vision as well about what you want your work to look like um, 
so you might be getting a lot of feedback that's really different from a lot of people. I wouldn't take it all on board. I think it's important that you keep your own vision and you stay really passionate about what it is you're writing. These three novels are all about subjects which I'm hugely passionate about. Um, one is about postnatal depression, another one is about um, the history of abortion, and the third one is about um, war brides, and they're all about women's histories which have been sort of hidden in the past. So that's all from me, and thank you very much to Berkelow Books for having us. <laughs>